Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Our hero has returned after his uh, few hours off the radar. So let's see what he had to say. All right. I need to get my phone bill today. I just got attacked again last night. I got chased by someone with a pocket knife. I don't believe that for a second. I missed another class last night for college. Oh man. You leaving us hanging. You need to post more pictures of I shit and farted, man. I need to know more about that. These lessons that they're teaching you at UCLA. I skipped breakfast. I woke up this morning to two hundred dollars debt. I'm living on cash only. I can't pick up my Colorado ID until two weeks from now. I'm not eating enough. That's for sure, man. Eating cheese, pizza, and shit. Like, you need to get some protein in your diet, buddy. What would your be your ideal me meal, Daniel? Oh, he's going to say something like mac and cheese. Watch. I bet you it's mac and cheese. Bird food, Domino's pizza. All right. Uh, Daniel's right on that. I like me some Domino's pizza. Back whenever we were younger, I used to say, uh, what do you call it? This weed exhibits the domino effect because I'm going to call motherfucking domino. That's what we used to say to each other. It was funny. We were stupid back then. It was funny. All right. Bob is a serious problem to my life now. Dude, you were threatening to kill him with a gun and a bomb yesterday. Or was it? Was it? Yet? I think it was yesterday. <sighs> he does so much crazy stuff. Like, he's been really on a roll lately, and hasn't Dan? He's been doing all kinds of crazy shit the last couple of days. I wonder if Bob got my belongings from my old care provider's house like he was supposed to. Everything is about to get worse, even worse financially. My phone is about to get shut off for not paying the bill. What will you do without your phone? His precious. My finances and career would be over. Well, I don't know. Daniel, it would be good for Daniel to go without a phone, though, I think. I might get arrested for not paying my bills. I'm about to be forced to take another risk. I'm writing my song lyrics today for college homework. I'm on my way to get lunch. I'm on my way to the bank. I just found out my plea de deal for the false reporting case. 30 days in county jail. <laughs> yes. They yeah on the on the Reddit here they I don't know, they said uh that he got him. You know what I mean? So like, I slept inside a McDonald's playpen last night. I don't know, man. I might believe that. Dan, you can you imagine the kids going out there like 8 in the morning and then Daniel's creepy homeless ass is inside the fucking the slide and shit like that. <laughs> He's scared, man. He's like some kind of monster coming to attack the kids. I just found out that I have to pay my taxes this year. I'm now posting on my new account so I can make my paychecks. <sighs> Clark just set up more classes for me because things aren't getting any better financially and living for me. My schedule is about to change a lot. Man, he only been out of jail for like two hours and he's made all these fucking posts. I have to set up my community service for probation. You're going to jail for 30 days. Man, that it. He was in a... Aurora, and that's where that fucking, uh, that one crazy guy killed all the people at the movie theater. Well, what the fuck was his name? There are all kinds of evil memes about it, all kinds of dark humor shit. Like one of them said, uh, the fucking, uh, I can't remember who they said went to heaven. He's like, some of the fans got to meet, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember who went to heaven. But hell, and, he's, but, and some of the fans got to meet Heath Ledger. I don't know. I, was, I thought, I have a dark sense of humor. I'm fucked up. Grace Vanderwall is planning on coming back to Denver next week. I'm doing a fan meetup at the Aurora Mall today. I'm about to get lunch. I'm about to take a huge risk. Till I get the apartment, everything is going to be more expensive. Shit, the apartment has become a Grace Vanderwall at this point. It's just something that he talks about. I regret moving to Colorado with my family. I'm about to get an $80 lunch because I haven't eaten healthy in days. $80? What the fuck? What? I can't even imagine what you could spend eighty dollars a lunch for. Go to one of the little French restaurants where they give you a four ounce steak and then a little little piece of green onion and a fucking half a potato. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, you need to go to McDonald's and get yourself a double Big Mac or a quarter pounder 
And at McDonald's, I like the I don't like the double quarter pounder because the meat to bread ratio is off. You know what I mean? You got to have the right amount of bread to the right amount of meat, and that's why I like the double Big Mac because the regular Big Mac doesn't have enough fucking uh, meat to bread. There's too much bread. You know what I mean? There's a meat to bread ratio that's perfect for hamburgers. I might not eat anything for another few days. Please check out my song Roaring Thunder on Spotify. I'm adding a haircut to today's schedule. I can't keep going in loops. I now have three TikTok accounts. I thought you had like eight or some shit like that. What are the account names so we can follow them? I'm getting them ready. Can you come to London, Daniel? I wish. All I know about London is from that, uh, oh, what the fuck was it called? That gangster movie, Rock and Roller. Yeah, that's all I know about London. Now, I've watched a couple of British movies. That's all I know about. Really. Like, I've, wa- I've watched some f- true crime shit from Britain, too, though, the UK. Remember, I get paid for my now, now for my social media sponsorship. Like, British humor, like Monty Python and shit like that. I know I'll probably get some hate for this, but I never liked Monty Python ever. Even when I. I had to pretend to like it because people liked it, and I'm sorry, man. Monty Python sucks. The holy hand grenade. Oh my god, man! I don't people. I don't even see how people like it. Who's sponsoring you? I'd like to support them. LBI Entertainment. <laughs> He's so stupid. He's never received a paycheck from these people. They've been stringing him along for fucking ever now, man. It's fucking ridiculous, poor guy. Okay, Bob struggles with change. I got three paychecks next week. I'm sure you do, Daniel. A million dollars. Do you have class today, Daniel? I have homework. <laughs> what class do you have homework? Well, that's so stupid. They got him in a fake college, man. That shit is hilarious, man. That's some funny-ass trolling. And then the Photoshop gigantism pic with the 15-foot tall guy. That shit was funny, too. Phone bill is next on my schedule. What else is on your schedule, Daniel? Next week is the same schedule as last week, but more busy. You going to have a freak out every day? No. <laughs> Phone bill is on. Ne- uh, everything in life is a trap. I'm thinking about going on vacation to the Bahamas to a hotel resort. I'm about to learn the, about the Holocaust in college. Get ready for a crazy financial shift. Everything is about to change financially for everybody. He deleted that comment. Everything changes financially in a few hours. Financial markets are about to go insane tonight. This is it, everyone. The biggest financial shift of the year. What the fuck is he really? He's really obsessed with that financial bull market bullshit right now. It's time to draw the line. Everything changes in April. Well, let's see. All right. Get ready for the market shift. The fan meetup for today just got canceled due to safety concerns. Time is up. Everyone is wrong about what is coming. I'm about to go to the recording studio this afternoon. It was 49 seconds ago. Well, that's the end of it. Have fun later on. Don't be, yeah, have a good one.